I'm skimming, left foot out, and then punch as I go into that seven star stance. Certain chop fa, double stabbing flower. Double mid hook, then gua tang choi, hammer, a la choi, white punch. He likes to be carried, just a little baby. In black tie under something fist, we had that move, del mantis hook, eye poke strike. So we call it mantis spies the cave, but there's a bunch of different ways that we can interpret, it, interpret that move. That's why some people call it spy, some people call it explore. It's really up to you, but the, it's the same character. This is the move that represents what we are all doing, exploring the cave together. Tuck toy, spear hand, palm, and prop and kick. Reverse punch, grab, cross kick, step back punch. From the ally toy, we have the white punch. Um, so what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that when we pull, there is this element of, we wanna pull back. Some people, they'll just try to pull straight back, but you wanna imagine twisting. So if someone's grabbing your wrist, you don't wanna just try to pull back, you wanna have this twisting action as well, and that's what's gonna break that grip. And then on top of that, we have that left hand skimming on top. So we're breaking the grip and we're twisting all at the same time. So it's all about the timing of when do you pull and twist, and when do you hit with that left hand. And so we'll start with our right hand out, left hand will be on top, and we're hitting right around our, somewhere between our forearm and our wrist area. And that's where we're trying to skim and we're trying to hit forward. By the time you're done with that left hand, it's gonna be um, not shoulder height, but just slightly below that. So somewhere between your belly button and your shoulder. So when you hit, it's gonna end up here. And so then my left foot steps in, then punch. Actually, we'll work on just this move for now. Think of a string is pulling your elbow straight back. So from here, I'm going straight back. I don't want my elbow to flare out to the side, so I don't wanna to have too much space. I wanna be as close to my body as possible, as if there was a hook hooking the back of your elbow and it's just pulling it straight back behind you. And so I'm pulling and I'm twisting at the same time. It's trying to uh, time this twist of my forearm. I'm externally rotating and I'm yanking back all at the same time. All right, and then once I do that, I'm hitting at the exact same time. It might feel like it's too much of a skim, like we're just uh, wiping something off. You want more of a, a hit. Bam. Yep. E. I try to pull and then I hit, it's not gonna work. Now, if I hit and then I try to pull, that's not gonna work either. So I gotta figure out how can I time it at the exact same time so it's the moment my left hand makes contact, that's the exact same time that I twist and I pull back. So it's three actions all in once. It's the twist, it's the pull, and the hit, and that's what's gonna break the grip. There you go. Seven star punch. Um, in, Sigong Lee will call it the supplementary punch, meaning that you're blocking and then you're filling in the void with the punch. We're gonna start off in a crane stance, and I want you to feel like you're spiraling downward into that seven star stance. Make sure your left knee still stays at a 45, so you don't want that left knee to open up too much, but you wanna feel like you're sinking. Main thing is not feeling like you're falling forward, so you're spiraling downwards, and then your shoulder will extend. If I don't turn enough, then I'm not gonna get that much of a range. So again, my fist is right around where that, the back wall is, but if I turn a little bit more, now I get a lot more reach out of that. So you wanna make sure that you twist all the way straight out. My right fist is drilling as well. The hard part is feeling like that spiraling motion going downward into the ground. Nice. Will the left open up? If my left foot spirals outwards, then that means my left foot isn't rooted and I might as well just be spinning on ice. And so there's, no, there's not gonna be any rootedness into my technique. So I want my left foot to be rooted and eventually it reaches its end point. There, there reaches a point where it can't go anymore. Otherwise, if I go anymore, then my left foot will open up. I just wanna hit my end range and that's the farthest that I'm gonna go. But good question though. We're gonna start off with the right hand out. Do the hand skimming as our left foot steps in. One, two. Okay, so again, one, two. And back to set. So skimming as your left foot steps in. One, I'm gonna still stay relatively the same height and then drill straight out. Yep. E. Some. Say. Sigong Lee calls it the double bumping punch. So that one is the, we call it the antler strike. So 
we go from stepping forward, horse stance grab here, that pluck, and then striking this way. So the, the character, it means to accidentally run into or to collide with somebody. So that should give you an idea of the intent of the technique. So I'm sliding in, I'm plucking them, and then it's almost as if I'm not putting any extra force into it. It's almost like, well, they're flying in and they're just colliding with me. And so if you think of it like that, then you're not gonna be kind of like, Wah! trying to do like some crazy Hadouken, throwing a fireball or anything like that. You're gonna be more like, oh, okay, I, I didn't mean to. And you just kind of bumped into my fist. And so you're plucking hard enough so that way they fly in towards you and then just striking. So the contact point is probably gonna be somewhere around here, even though yes, we are gonna fully extend anyways, but the idea, once you pluck them in, you let go immediately and they just collide into your fists. How can I open up, pivot on my heel into that horse stance? And I wanna feel like I'm just gliding in. Um, common mistake that I made uh, when I first started was I, I was doing a big, strong pluck. Um, my Sifu was saying, no, 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 you don't wanna do that. You wanna feel like it's that arm is just gliding in. Somebody was making contact. As I step forward, it stays in the same point. So all I'm doing is collapsing, even though my body is stepping in, pluck here, and then double bump. I feel a little bit of pressure going towards my side, and I'm just gonna step in here. So I'm stepping in, and then I pluck. So I'm not gonna try to pull that arm in. I'm just gliding, and then I take, and then just immediately let go and strike here, and then immediately let go, and the other person will just kind of bump into my fist, and I'm gonna hit him either in the solar plex or the floating ribs. Yep. E. Some. Say. Do so. Hammer. Grab punch knee. Elbow. Back fist. Allow joy. White punch. Low roundhouse. Back fist. Do so. Hammer. Grab punch knee. Elbow. Back fist. Allow joy. White punch. Low roundhouse. Back fist, do so, punch. No, no. Well, some of you guys are gonna get a uh, personally signed notebook by Nala. It has some claw marks in it already. Three of them now have claw marks. So if you get a notebook with claw marks, you know that Nala personally signed it.